All right, back at y'all with some more boxing news and updates. You already know this is your boy, Love on the Hate One. Let's go ahead and talk about this. Well, as you guys know, Canelo gets bashed by Team Benavidez for facing John Ryder in his comeback fight. Not only is it a comeback fight, but he's coming back from an injury. So I don't see why this is so much of a big deal. Canelo could have took a way easier fight, you guys. But he chose to at least come back and face a top 10 matter of fact a top 7 168 pounder as you guys can see i go by facts john Ryder is ranked higher than a lot of these guys at 168 pounds guys that a lot of people will consider a better fighter than john Ryder. but john Ryder does have some decent wins you guys and don't get it twisted. I would rather see Canelo face somebody a little better than John Ryder. Maybe a David Morrall. But I'm knowing that Canelo is coming off some slight inactivity and a real injury. And you guys still want to just throw him in there with the Wolves. Now after he faces John Ryder, then we could talk about a way better fight. Which is probably Bivol or Better Beef. You got David Benavidez and Jose Benavidez Sr. saying things like John Ryder is a bum. We'll stop John Ryder early. And I'm thinking in my head like, man, shut the f up. Always crying. You know, the Canelo critics always want to say they going to complain about who we fight anyway. So there's no reason for me to even tell you anything they say because you guys know what I'm trying to say. They want to talk about how he facing John Ryder. It's the same thing they was doing with Dimitri Bivol. They complained about him too. A top champion at light heavyweight. They called him a cherry pick. <laughs> how can you cherry pick a top skillful fighter? Champion at that. Like Dimitri Bivol. But then they want to say, oh, he's only fighting European fighters. You guys. But they never said nothing about Andre Ward only fighting European fighters. And it's not even true, you guys, about Canelo only fighting European fighters. Because last time I checked, Canelo could have ducked guys like Floyd Mayweather. He could have ducked guys like Aries Landy Lara. He could have ducked Trout. He could have ducked Triple G. He could have ducked guys like Danny Jacobs. When Danny Jacobs was really Danny Jacobs. See what all the people have to understand out there is. Every fight is not going to be a tough hard fight. They want Canelo to fight an undefeated fighter. Every fight. But that's not how boxing works. Even in the older era, you guys, when everybody was facing each other, they didn't take a tough fight every fight. Mayweather didn't take a tough fight every single fight. I'm a big fan of Sweet Pea, and I'm a big fan of Muhammad Ali. May both of those guys rest in peace. But if we get even more deep, not even those guys took a tough fight every fight. Your favorite fighter right now. Think of anybody. Nobody's taking a tough fight in every fight. Okay. Now you may face a lot of tough fighters. But there's going to be some mediocre fighters in the process, you guys. And I consider John Ryder above mediocre. So it's like stop reaching you guys with the BS. I mean, these guys are literally expected Canelo to face Dimitri Bivol coming off a hand injury. I just don't get it. But it is what it is. The critics and the haters is just going to be critics and haters. We just got to leave it at that. That's my thoughts on this. I am out.